I've spoken with Slavoj Žižek a couple of times on the show, and I don't think he's so much a Freudian as a Lacanian, and they may have very different views on the fundamental rule. But something he said that I found very striking was that free association is exactly the opposite of what the name suggests, in that when one is following the fundamental rule, they're ideally at the whims of their unconscious. And ideally then their conscious self is inhibited from exhibiting freedom by determining what comes from their mouth. So it's almost the antithesis of freedom since it's just whatever comes out, comes out. Yeah. Well, you know, let me just say a couple things. I mean, just in, in response, going from the beginning to the end of your, your comment. But the first thing, I, I just want to make clear about what I think I'm doing. Uh, you know, one of the things I think I'm doing, I'm not trying, I'm not at all trying to say, you know, the thing I am explaining is psychoanalysis is the only thing there could possibly be. And anybody who has a different view is making a mistake. And you ought to, uh, you know, you ought to agree with me. I, I'm not saying that at all. I, um, you know, I think that there are a lot of fruitful and um, differing uh, approaches to psychoanalysis. What I do take myself to be doing is laying down a real paradigm. And I think it's a very important paradigm and inviting people to take a look at this and think about it. Um, so I think it commands attention and respect. And I'm, that's what I'm trying to explain why why that might be. Now, um, Zizek, I mean, I, he, um, uh, you know, he and I, you know, I think of, of him as enjoying uh, life, <laughs> and uh, you know, part of the way he enjoys life is to come up with kind of paradoxical uh, claims and sayings, and uh, and people enjoy that too, and I think that's fine. I mean, you know, people. Uh, that's a that, that can be very enjoyable, and so there's. It's not like there's nothing right about what he's saying. I think it, you know, it. There, there's some sense in which um, there, what he's saying is is correct. But I mean, I think I feel that the formulation of it is spoken for the enjoyment of uh, of it sounding like the opposite of what you would think. I actually think he, you know, he would he would agree with me, and uh, we would have fun discussing this issue. But. Uh, you know, um, I do think that important issues, uh, you know, the, like the, the word freedom, as Aristotle would say about many important terms, uh, can be said in a variety of ways. Or let's, you know, for an English speaking world, uh, you know, in Wittgenstein would say there's, you know, there's a family resemblance. There isn't one thing that freedom means or having freedom or not having it. I mean, these are there. There are family of meanings these terms might have. Now, you know, I think one of the things Socrates thought, and you see this in the Republic, is I mean, he doesn't put this, uh, you know, p particularly in terms of freedom, but I think it's a Socratic idea, which is that, you know, we the the subjects of freedom or unfreedom are really ourselves. I mean, you know, the individual person, and how how wh whether their minds are working freely or whether they can speak or um, think or act freely um, is really the locus is going to be the the person, and you know freedom of the person is going to be inhibited if there is a you know you might say strong dramatic unconscious set of forces that are um, at work in one's life uh, one doesn't know about them. Uh, you know, that and has no real control over them. They're sort of, you know, as Freud said about, you know, they're, they're living you rather than you're living it. Um, so, you know, I, if psychoanalysis is a way of uh, freeing up some voices that allow them to speak in the hope of, you might say, engaging in a more um, creative and uh, communicative conversation, um, then it's that I take it to be a freedom enhancing movement of, of, of thought and activity. Um, and so I, I feel that the paradox that he, uh, you know, Zizek mentions, uh, you know, it's fun, you know, it sort of prompts thought, but I, I think it's not a, you know, sort of some big barrier or something that can't be addressed. 